Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Sun and Moon Pokemon Booster Box. And if you've been watching the videos on my channel recently, you'll know that this is the third Sun and Moon Booster Box I've opened up on my channel. And this one, actually a fan sent to me in a free cards by mail package. It was from Corey's Card Craze, and I can read the letter here. This is actually their third time sending free cards by mail. But it says... Dear Mr. Primetime, I still cannot express how grateful I am that I stumbled onto your channel so long ago. My channel, Corey's Card Craze, just passed one year on YouTube. I remember when I first started my channel, I had sent you a message asking how long it took you to get 1,000 subscribers. You responded rather quickly saying that it took a year of posting daily to hit your first 1,000. Well, I just passed a year and I am almost there. Thank you for your help throughout my journey. Now, I recently saw one of your free cards by mail from Leon Hart, great channel. He has sent you seven packages so far. I am only on three, counting this one, but I will catch up to him. I don't believe I have seen you get one of these in a free cards by mail in a very long time, so I am excited for you to open it. Lastly, I would like everyone to know that I am trying to give back to the Pokemon community as much as I possibly can. I have constant giveaways on my channel where I give away free codes, booster packs, blister packs, and very soon I will be having a booster box giveaway. And then there is their YouTube channel, YouTube Corey's Card Craze. It says, thank you again and hope you enjoy what I've sent your friend, Corey. So very generous, like I said, to send a Sun and Moon booster box. I believe in the past someone sent me an EX Crystal Guardians booster box. That was a long time ago. But I'll get this box opened up. The two previous ones I've opened, I had one from Collector's Cash and then the other one from Troll and Toad. For the most part, these boxes are between $90 and $100 online. So I'll open it up here, give a little closer view of the box, and then get to opening the packs. And it'll be something interesting to check out is that these boxes are mapped, meaning that one in every three packs will be a hollow, ultra rare, secret rare, etc. And the new boxes that are printed no longer are mapped, but I don't know what suppliers are doing, if they're keeping the ones that are mapped and then sending out the newer ones or what. So, take a look here. So, 36 packs per booster box. And here are all 36 packs. 18 packs on each side. So, we'll open up the right stack first. So, what I'll do here is I'll see if the stack is mapped. And if it is mapped, then I will mix up all the remaining packs. Just to so make it a little bit more exciting. So, first pack here in this Sun and Moon booster box starts with a Primarina. Cover artwork pack. 12 cards per pack when you count the online TCG code card and then the energy card per pack. Card trick is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the next two are the rare and reverse hollow. So, first card in the first pack is a Grubbin. There's a Drowsy, Crab Brawler, Sandile, Alolan Meowth, Lightning type energy. Next up, double colorless energy. There is a Yukamuku, Crocorock, Reverse Solo, a Corsola, and that is an uncommon rarity. And the rare here is a Masquerade. And again, like all the other recent expansions, the two different code cards in these packs to indicate if there is a Hollow Ultra Rare, and I can show here. So this one's all green. That means that it'll be a rare non-hollow in that final spot. So first one here is a Litten. There is a Psyduck. Bound Sweet. Lillipup. Dratini. There is a Water Type Energy. Hypno. Trumbeak. Rainbow Energy always looks cool in reverse hollow form. Togedemaru is the reverse holo, common rarity. And the rare here is a Parasect. And I will be opening up the Japanese booster boxes for Guardians Rising, the new Sun and Moon series set that will be released in May. Should be getting those boxes pretty soon and opening up those on my channel. So if this box is mapped, this one should be the pack with something good in it. So I'll flip around the code card just to take a look. Yep, it looks like there is something good in this one. And we'll go three packs from this one and see if there's something else good in there. So this pack starts off with a Shelder. There's a Young Goose, 
Paris, Caterpie, next up, Makuhita, Metal Type Energy, Professor Kakui, you can get this in full art form, Golbat, there is a Repel Trainer, Reverse Solo of a Rog and Rolla, common rarity, and the rare here is an Espeon GX, and that is a full art. A very beautiful looking card, made my top 10 list. So a pretty good way to start off this box. And I'll summarize my polls at the end of this video. And full art cards and secret rares from the set are pretty tough to pull. So let me just do three more packs from here. And I believe this one, if the box is mapped, should be the one that has something good in it. So if that is the case, then I'll mix up the remaining packs just to make it a little bit more exciting. And really, I believe Evolutions was also a mapped box. Essentially, you're guaranteed 12 ultra rare secret rares and hollows per box. They just make it easier um, to know where those packs are in the box. So this pack starts with a Poplio. There's a Toganamaru, Shelder, Makuhita, Firo. There's a Darkness type Energy, Poliwhirl, Nest Ball. You get this in secret rare form. Araquanid. Reverse Solo of a Growlithe, common rarity, and the rare here is a Serena, and this is the one hollow that I pulled in my Dollar Tree Sun and Moon Booster Pack opening that I did recently. So it looks like the box is mapped, so I'll mix up the remaining packs on this side of the box, and it'll be a little bit more exciting. So the remaining packs are mixed up, and I'll start right here with this Incineroar pack. Five different cover artworks on these Sun and Moon Booster Packs. Cover artwork really doesn't have any relation to what you'll pull in the packs. I know someone asked me that question recently. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Spiro. There is a Fomantis, Morlull, Skarmory, Poliwag. There is a Fighting Type Energy, Steeny, Poliwhirl, Nest Ball. Reverse Solo of a Cosmog, of course, the basic evolution that will lead to Sogaleo and Lunala. And then Cloyster is the final card in the pack, a rare non hollow. Now I'm working on the pronunciations for all the 7th generation Pokemon, like Lunala. And if I'm saying something incorrectly, you can just let me know in the, in the comment section. I'll try and work on that for future openings. A lot of new Sun and Moon products are on the horizon. I know there's a couple of tins that are going to be released quite soon. So this pack starts off with a Sandy Gast. There's a Rog and Rolla. Cosmog. Fomantis. Alolan Grimer. Water Type Energy. There's an Araquanid. Professor Kakui. Golbat, Reverse Solo of a Hariyama, that is the first rare Reverse Solo of this box, and then the final card is a Stoutland, that's another rare non-hollow. Have completed the Sun and Moon set, it was a very expensive one to complete, probably spent over $800 completing the set, spent about $500 on sealed products between the two booster boxes and then all the other sealed products released, and $350 on singles to complete the set. So this pack starts off with a Lillipup. There's a Paris, Firo, Litten, Young Goose, Grass Type Energy, Team Skull Grunt, one of the more beautiful looking full art cards available in this set, Metapod, Granbull, Reverse Solo of a Kangaskhan, one that is a rare Pretty nice card there, second rare reverse solo, and then the final card in the pack is an Incineroar. I like both this card as well as the regular GX of Incineroar, very cool looking. Speaking of Incineroar, another pack here. Card I'm hoping for most from this box of course would be the secret rare Ultra Ball. It's worth $90 to $100, had to buy one for $95. So this pack starts off with a Dupiter. There is an Alolan Meowth, Growlithe, Rog and Rolla, Cosmog, Fairy Type Energy. There is a Boldor, Ultra Ball. So hopefully that'll lead to something good. There is a Pinsir, Rare Candy, a pretty good trainer in the TCG Reverse Solo, 
And then the final card in the pack is a Primarina. So a couple of Stage 2 starters in a row, back-to-back -back packs, Incineroar and Primarina. Lunala pack now. Togunamaru right on the front. And Togunamaru, one of the two Black Star promo cards you can get in the three-pack blisters from Sun and Moon. I believe the other one is Litten. So this pack starts off with a Togunamaru, like I mentioned. There is a Stuffle. Marini. Dupiter, Bound Sweet, there is a Grass Type Energy, Charger Bug, Herdier, Steeny, Reverse Hollow of a Bound Sweet, so you're going basic to stage one there in a common Reverse Hollow. And the final card in this pack is a Decidueye GX. And I was just thinking in my head it'd be nice if I pull the Incineroar, Pre Marine, and then go to Decidueye GX as the third pack in three packs in a row. So pretty good pull right there. Easily the most valuable regular GX. Of course, Decidueye is only available in the regular GX. That goes for the other two stage two starters. So very happy with that pull. My goal with this opening is just to pull cards I have not out of packs so far. Okay, so pack starts with a Dratini. There's a Wingle, Stuffle, Poplio, Zubat, Fighting Type Energy, Pelipper, Ultra Ball, so another Ultra Ball. There is a Corsola, Reverse Hall of a Yukumuku, and that is an uncommon. And the rare here is a Lantern. As far as my thoughts go on booster box mapping, not that big a deal in my opinion. Doesn't really have any effect on anything. Personally, at least here in the United States, there aren't many places that sell open booster boxes like that, except for you go to maybe a local comic book store or card shop. And if they already weighed their packs using a scale before, they're probably gonna take out the packs now, but otherwise, I wouldn't be too worried. So this pack starts off with a picky pack. There is an Eevee, Psyduck, Spiro, Dratini, Fire Type Energy, Poliwhirl, there is a Breon, Timer Ball Trainer, Reverse Hollow, a Timer Ball, so two of the same cards right in a row, Uncommon Reverse Hollow, and then the final card in the pack is a Broxish. And I know a lot of people have been commenting on my videos saying that they do not like Bruxish. Definitely an ugly looking Pokemon if you ask me. And I've always been a fan of the older Pokemon over the newer ones. I always prefer those older ones. And it, it really takes a while for me to warm up to some of the newer Pokemon. I would have been happy with just, you know, two generations of Pokemon. But, of course, it draws more players into the games and TCG with new Pokemon. So, first card here is an Alolan Diglett. There is a Dupiter, Alolan Meowth, Growlithe, Roggenrola, Psychic Type Energy. There is a Pokeball Trainer, Granbull, Metapod, Reverse Hall of a Dragonair, and that is an uncommon. And the rare here is an Ultra Ball Secret Rare. There we go, $95 card right here. Easily the best card to pull in this set and pulled it right here. What a great feeling. As a collector, I was hoping for these very valuable cards and there we have it, Ultra Ball Secret Rare. That made my day, probably made my week pulling that great of card. So, moving on after that amazing pull onto an Incineroar pack. And really, that's why I like opening these booster packs, to have the chance of pulling a card like that. Haven't been that excited in quite some time to pull a card out, just because that is such a valuable card. I know back when I opened up Roaring Skies, at the time, Shaman EX Full Art wasn't worth that much, so it wasn't as exciting to pull that out. But definitely a great feeling pulling out a good card like that. So next pack here has a Sandy Guest. There is an Eevee, Crab Brawler, Marini. There is an Alolan Diglett, Lightning Type Energy. In the games and animates, an Electric Type. There is a Passimian, Team Skullgrunt, Poison Barb, 
reverse solo of a Fero, common rarity. And the rare here is a Crobat. So that is the second hollow of this half of the box. So far I've pulled out four combined hollows, ultra rare, secret rares, and that's actually my first secret rare pull out of almost 200 sun and moon booster packs now. So not only first time I pulled a secret rare, but easily, like I mentioned, best secret rare you can pull from this set. So pack here starts off with a lily pup. There is a wingle. Snubble, Carvana, Zubat, there is a Psychic Type Energy, Repel Trainer, Pinsir, Timer Ball, Reverse Holo of a Parasect, and there's another rare, third rare Reverse Holo of this half the box, and the final card is a Beware. Like I mentioned before, to me that looks almost like a Care Bear head with a bear body. Okay, Primarina pack now, and there are three packs left after this one. And in part two, where I'll open up the second 18 packs of this box. I'll mix those packs around before I start with the video, just so it's a little bit more exciting and it's just not a mapped box. Okay, so this pack starts with a Litten, probably my favorite of the three basic starter Pokemon. There is a Torkoal, Young Goose, Rowlet. There's a Cosmog, Metal Type Energy, Repel Trainer, there is a Pelipper, Pokeball Trainer, Reverse Hollow of a Crocorock, Uncommon Rarity, and the rare here is a Toucanon. Like I mentioned, a couple of my other Sun and Moon openings reminds me of the Toucan Sam, I believe is its name, from the Fruit Loops box. Decidueye Pack now. And I, of course, I used to pronounce it Desidui, but I've learned since then. I've been trying to keep up with the Sun and Moon anime. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Cosmog. There's a Litten, Psyduck, Bounceweed, Lillipop, Darkness Type Energy, Hypno, there is a Big Malasada, Steeny. Reverse Hollow of a Toxapex, and that is a rare, so that is the fourth rare Reverse Hollow of this half the box. And the final card is a Cosmo. Of course, this is the stage one evolution to either Sogaleo or Lunala. Okay, Sogaleo pack here. Actually, the last two packs in part one are both Sogaleo cover artwork packs. Okay, second to last pack starts with a Grubbin. Next up, Drowsy. There is a Crab Roller, Sandile, Alolan Meowth, Fairy Type Energy. There is a Lily, you can get this in full art form. There's a Boldor, Great Ball, Reverse Holo, a Broxish, and that is another rare Reverse Holo. So, right on par with one of my previous Sun and Moon Booster Box openings, pulling 10 total. Rare Reverse Hollows. And then the final card is another Full Art, and this one is a Team Skull Grunt. One of the only Full Art trainers I pulled from packs in Sun and Moon, but definitely my favorite of the few different Full Art trainers you can get in this set. So Team Skull Grunt, that makes three great cards, plus that Decidueye GX in Part 1. So, final pack here. Could be something good in here, like I said, because I mixed those packs up. Cutie fly right on the front, I can see. So, code card. Final pack in part one. Again, Corey's card craze. I'd like to thank him very much for sending me this booster box. You'll find a link to their channel in the description of this video. So, last pack starts off with a cutie fly. There's a Chincho, Morlull, Skarmory, Caterpie. Psychic Type Energy, Double Colorless Energy, Dragon Air. There is an Elima. You get this in full art form as well. Alolan Persian is the Reverse Solo, and that one is an Uncommon. And the Rare in the final pack is a Golduck. So there you have it for part one. I can summarize my polls quickly and then move on to part two. 
In total, I pulled five different rare reverse hollows. I'll go newest to oldest, pulls wise. So there's Bruxish, Toxapex, Parasect, Kangaskhan, and then Hirayama. Pulled out two rare hollow cards in Crobat, and then Serena. One GX card I pulled out in Decidueye GX and pulled out four total ultra rares and secret rares. Pulled one full art trainer in Team Skullgrunt. One GX full art in Espeon. And then easily the card that made this entire box is the secret rare ultra ball. Again, about a $95 card. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video. Links for Corey's Card Craze's YouTube channel, a link to part two, as well as links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.